Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to make a QR code generator which generates a QR code for business cards or V uh, cards. Now the idea comes from all these websites here, for example this one. You can either use an URL, use a URL here and it will generate this quick response code or QR code. If you scan it, it will be referred to the address and you can click on it or some text or some contact. This is what we're going to make today that we provide some information they will generate this QR code for us okay now I'm going to uh, use replit.com and this is what we're going to make let's see if I run the program I'm uh, asked to provide a name okay now I enter the name my name let's see Vahid phone number let's just some random phone number email v at p.com for example uh, company let's say Pythonology and for the web address let's see if I have it here yes so this is my um, YouTube channel address and if I press enter now you see something appears here this image cool if I click on it you should see it here this uh, QR code now if I scan this using a QR code scanner on my phone this information will pop up that is name phone email company and this will be clickable on your phone so this is what we are going to make using a few lines of code it's so easy now I'm going to create a new REPL okay so I've created a new REPL and the first thing we need to do is to import QR code so QR code is library Python library if you're using your local machine you can pip install QR code in your terminal and also pillow you also need to use um, install pip install pillow or this is a third option and I guess the best option pip install QR code brackets pill and you will have access to also pillow or pill for processing images to, to save an image now in REPL you need to go to packages and here look for uh, QR code and the first option normally is the one so I've already installed it so you can just install this and after that let's look for a pillow and here you can also install this one well I have installed this so these are the only thing we need to do now let's import QR code that we just installed now in only two lines of code I'm going to create a QR code so the first thing is we are going to have an image right so I can call it whatever I want IMG for instance and then we are going to use the QR code that we imported and it has a method called make and here give it whatever you want like a string for example like my name is Vahid something like that so this has been created now we need to save it somewhere so for that IMG that is this thing that we created IMG.save this method and we're going to save it as a PNG file but I give it a name for example name.png for example now if I run this uh, well this will start uh, running it's gonna take a couple seconds but then we will have an image here you see name.png if I click on it this is the you uh, the QR code and if I scan this you will see something like this but only name Fahid my or my name is Vahid something like that now you can alternatively <coughs> sorry give it also a URL and that would be the same so if I give it this URL to my YouTube channel surround it in uh, quotes and a uh, QR code will generate it which includes this URL alternatively we can ask for the users input so in order to make like a business card what we can do is to ask user to provide a name for us and save it inside a variable name so I can say uh, name is an input that the user gives us and let's ask him to provide a name and also phone number equals again an input that would be something like okay phone give me your phone and we are saving them a name and phone 
Now I can also create another variable called contact and the contact is going to be like an F string because I'm going to um, put these values and a strings next to each other. So that's why I use an F string. So let's say name equals and I'm going to use the value that the user provides. That's why I'm using curly brackets, which is name. So this is basically this. And then I want this to go to a next line for phone, for example. That's why I use backslash n, it means create a new line. And here, phone is going to be whatever the user inputs, which we saved it in phone now. So the QR code is going to be made using this. So let's just um, copy contact and put it inside this one. Now, the image is going to be made using this information and we saved it into a PNG name. Now let's run this here, name, let's say Vahid, phone, some random number here. And if we go back, and if I scan this, I should see exactly this information there. So I'm going to actually scan it on my phone. Let me see. Okay, I've checked, then this is correct. This is exactly what appears. Well, there is, of course, uh, uppercase N for name instead of this one and phone. Perfect, so we have just made a QR code. Very simple, that was it. But if we want to add more configurations, that is, for example, changing the size of this or changing the border, for example, you can see the border is a bit wide maybe. If you want it to be closer to the border here, you can change that. You can change the background color or the color of these as well. Now, let's do that part now, which is a bit more lengthy now. So instead of this one, I'm going to keep actually the name and phone here. Now for that to have more configurations, what we need to do is to create an instance of a QR code. So we say QR, oops, equal, and that will be QR code that we imported. And this has a method QRC, all in uppercase, ode, QR code. And this has several parameters. Now, one of them is version. So version is about the size of it. So it has something between one and 40. So the higher the number, the bigger that would be. So let's just go with one. The next argument is um, box size. That is the size of those small black boxes that you saw. So we are going to set it to, for example, 10. And another one is border. So border equals, let's say four. And four means, uh, where was that? So here, that is four tiny boxes from the edge. That is one, two, three, and four. So they would be closer to the edge now. And now that we've made uh, this one here, we can also add the data, that is this data, what was that, the contact now. After this, let's just say QR, that instance that we uh, created, add underscore data, and we are going to add contact to it. So contact is going to be added, that is a name and a phone. And now we can add another thing, like to fit the size. Uh, if it is too big, for example, it should fit there. We can say QR.make, and we can set the fit to true so that it fits inside that space. And um, then the last thing is to create now this IMG thing here. So our image, we can say IMG equals QR, which we uh, created, and dot make underscore image. Now we are going to specify the colors, the background color or the color of the, the boxes here. So we can say fill, and that will be the color of the boxes, let's say black. And now the background color, so back underscore color equals, uh, normally people set it to white, you can set it to also red, but the combinations are a bit tricky. You can't have every combination you want because that's not normally readable very well. So black and white are the best combinations. So, well, I'm just going to keep it uh, to red just for sake of example. And then we're going to save it 
into uh, this image name. Now if I run this, so let's have the same thing again, Vahid and this number, and let's go back and see if it's been created. You see, now we have a background color red, and this is all in black. So I'm just going to also check again to make sure this is what you want, or and it is. Yeah, perfect. So we have just created this beautiful uh, QR code generator in two ways. The easy way, in two lines of code, three lines of code, and a bit more uh, complicated one. Did you like this video? Please share this, leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and listening.